Okie dokie, here we go. So, 100% wool pants, dress pants, as my long johns. 100% wool pants for my outer layer. Attached is my Columbia River knife and tool ultimum. Okay, wool socks. Military socks, waterproof up to the knee. Alright, 100% wool vest with my sweat layer, thicker grade, full sweater, 100% wool, thicker wool, 100%, colder weather, another wool sweater, thick, thick layer, extreme cold weather gear. Alright, 100% wool scarf, okay. Sniper Veil, Combat Scrim Scarf, Woodland Balaclava, Wool Balaclava, Woodland Gloves, Wool Gloves, Fingers Cut Off, Big Winter Mitts. Okay, then I have my vest, which I carry, all my survival bug out gear. My fanny pack, which is new, 750 milliliters of water, and I carry my sugar, milk, tea, and assorted lunch goodies in there. Iodine in the side. Okay, and I call it in a little container of olive oil on the other side. And otherwise, I have 50 feet braided rope, but I have my figure eight descender. Climbing grade carabiner. Some other little carabiners attached to the rope that I use for hanging. Some of the shovel, my wood rasp, my Fisker's hatchet, and of course my uh, liter of water. One liter Nalgene apple juice container. Well used. It's a little bit of clothes hanger hook around. I just use these for cooking just about everything. Okay, so that is pretty much what I wear. And that's what I take out in the bush to keep me warm. Extreme weather conditions. If I get warm or the seasons get warmer, you take off the layers. This has kept me warm to uh, below minus 30 uh, degrees centigrade. When it's windy or wet, then of course I have my uh, water resistant Gore-Tex layer pants and uh, jacket. And that's pretty much it. My pack, I usually carry just my sleeping situation, which would be my now hammock and bivy and ranger blanket. And maybe an extra sleeping bag or a snowsuit if the weather is extremely cold. And that's pretty much it. Okie dokie. Ciao.